sick. Yeah, that was already one of the best trails in Duluth. That was just a masterpiece of a trail. Hey everyone, I'm in Duluth today, riding my favorite trail system in all of Minnesota, Piedmont and Brewer. This video is actually gonna be two separate rides here. I was riding with my buddy Randy last week, riding with 65 year old Duluth Shredder, Randy Johnson. Hey guys. How old are you when you decided to pick up mountain biking? 63 years old. 63, riding Duluth Double Black Diamonds. Inspirational. It's always awesome riding with him. Too bad it was cut short, but stick around to see that part of the video. I was riding at Spirit Mountain today, testing out the Spire's new suspension. I wasn't planning on filming at Spirit Mountain today, so I just filmed this one clip of a local line I found on Boot. I always wondered if that was possible. And I guess it is. Shout out to Rama Components for giving me a pair of their new Hollet grips to try out. I needed a new pair of grips for my Fuely X trail bike, so I'm stoked to try out a new pair of grips from a Minnesota Components company. Randy and Andrew told me that Kissing Booth had been reworked some new dirt at the end of it. Looks like they really upscaled the jumps at the end of Kissing Booth. We'll see how many of these I case today. One of the all-time classic descents in Duluth, Kissing Booth. Haven't ridden it since last October. Let's see what's new on it. Right off the bat, some dirt's been added to those jumps. Also, if you're looking for all the Strava lines, this ain't the video. I ride this trail about twice a year. <laughs> but it's a good one to ride if you're thinking of testing yourself on Bob and DM over in Piedmont. This is a great warm up trail for them. This new B line was added in. 2020, I think. Original line goes to the right. No more shark fin here. And those new tabletops that I checked out earlier, let's see. Sick, yeah. It was already one of the best trails in Duluth. And that was just a masterpiece of a trail. Wish I had more left in the tank. I'd go climb back and get another lap on that. You, DM, one of the greatest trails in Duluth. Didn't get to ride it with Randy last weekend because my derailleur got destroyed.
until I lowered my PSI down to 20 in the front, hearing a couple pings. 23 in the back too, hearing some pings there as well. If you're gonna ping your wheels, DM is the trail to do it on. Take her home. Well, call it a day in Duluth after that. Always a great time riding here. Especially on this bike with the dialed in suspension. Hell yeah. Riding my favorite trail system in Minnesota today. Piedmont. Gnarliest trails you can ride in Minnesota without signing a waiver. Warming up on Dr. Oxo. Decent sized drop up ahead. It's a lot more dirt in that landing than I remember. Piedmont warm up, Dr. Oxo drop. Was like a giant puddle there for half the summer. It's finally drying up a bit in Duluth. Just warmed up on Dr. Roxo. Next up, Dr. Diablo. One of the sketchiest, steepest rock rolls around that was just made sanctioned last year. Here we go. Yeah, Randy, way to send it. Yeah, Randy. Nice job, Andrew. All right, guys, this feature seems insane the first time you see it in person. The GoPro never captures how steep stuff is. But the line to take is you literally just ride your bike straight down it. That's all you have to do. It's quite the commitment, though. Randy's gonna lead me down the double black diamond, Bones of the Beast, right. also known as Bob. new feature towards the end of Bob after the big hucks. 
off to the left. Pile of boulders leads you up this new slab. Oh, she's loose. Blown out. Nicely done. Yeah, it's getting kind of dusty there. Reminds me of last summer. Yeah, it was a little worse. I mean, it actually dried up over the last 24 hours. I'm almost nervous to see DM now if that's the better trail conditions. See what I mean? How much smoother that is though coming down. Yeah. And you, you can really almost roll that long slab now. I was always like hucking, hucking, and then we got way too much.